Hey, in this video, we're gonna set up the records in our onboarding pipeline that we created in the last video. So to do that, we're going to go to board actions, edit stages, and then come over here to record customization. And the first thing that we're gonna do is customize the left sidebar. I'm gonna edit the default view here, but you could add additional views for specific teams if you wanted to. I'm gonna add a section called onboarding information. And then we are gonna go ahead and add the required properties from the pipeline that we added in the last video. So if I go ahead and save that, and then I come all the way back to my pipeline and go into this example record, you'll see that now on the left-hand side, we have this onboarding information section. So that's great, but what if we wanna add some more information, some more real-time information about what's actually happening inside of individual tickets during a specific phase? So to do that, we can use arrows, this is optional, of course, but I'm just going to show you how to do this and the type of data that you can expect. So I'm going to go to two arrows in the marketplace, go to install arrows, connect to HubSpot, and I'm going to connect it to this account that we are in, example co. I'm going to choose the account, and then I am going to connect the app by agreeing to the permissions. Once I have done that, you'll see that it'll ask me to create an account. So I can just go ahead and click through this. I can customize my branding if I want, I can add my logo, but I'm just gonna keep clicking continue. I'm gonna skip that and I will schedule later. And from here, what I want to do is I'm gonna to go to settings uh, and HubSpot and then synced data points. And I'm gonna go and configure, whoops. I'm gonna go and configure my ticket properties to include the ones that I want. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then come back to my ticket pipeline. I'm gonna go back to the record. Again, we have nothing here, but if I go to the settings, go to tickets, record customization, and then back to that left sidebar, default view. And now inside, you'll see here, there's a group called arrows properties, which has been created. And if I add to my onboarding section, I can now select the arrows properties that I want to display, right? So I want to display who is the current task assignee, what is the current task name, what is the current uh, phase that we are in, when is their target date, uh, there is a task completion percentage, and let's see, I want the last time that a participant viewed. So I'm going to add that one. And now we have all of these data points, which are going to come from arrows and be visible on our left sidebar inside of a record. So that's one thing. The other thing that I want to do is now that I have that real time data from arrows, I'm going to go to uh, pipelines and I'm going to customize ticket cards because right now we're displaying things that you know may be relevant, but aren't necessarily optimized for our onboarding process. So I'm going to get rid of closed date. And I'm going to add in some of those arrows properties. So I'm going to add in uh, current task name. I'm going to add in uh, percentage completion. And finally, I'm going to add in, we have a little human readable summary of what's happening in the plan. So there we go. If I save that now, you're not going to see it just yet because we don't have a uh, plan attached. But in our next video, we're going to talk about enabling customers and we'll get into building an arrows plan and attaching it to a ticket in HubSpot. So that's two really quick things you can do to increase the visibility of your onboarding data, uh, optimizing the left-hand sidebar and adding properties to the ticket card inside of the pipeline. I'll see you in the next video.